Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing something that I have been thinking about doing for a long long time. I am doing a ranking video and I'm going to rank all my palettes from Nabla and I have them all. These must be all. <laughs> or, yeah. So I have all the palettes from Nabla and I'm going to rank them. I also have a bundle they released with some single shadows. I do not have that in the ranking because now they are sold as singles. So yeah, I'm going to rank all the palettes from Nabla and talk a little bit about them. So I guess I we just start. And Nabla, for you who doesn't know, is an indie brand from Italy and most of their things are vegan. Not everything, but most of their, their things. And I really love Nabla. I have been using the products for quite some time and yeah I'm just going to show you my rankings so I'm going to start with maybe I can tell you how many palettes it is and two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's eleven palettes so the first palette in the last place is the Miami Lights Glitter Palette first I was like maybe I shouldn't take this but I did because it is a palette and I ranked this so low because it is just four glitters. It's a little quad and these are really good. <laughs> I really like them but it's not like you can do that much so maybe this is just a little extra. These are good but it's nothing like I don't, don't rank it higher than this. At place 10 I have one of the cutie palettes and I like this palette, but okay, it's the cutie nude. And maybe I surprise some of you because if you look at the ranking Nabla palettes, I think that Poison Garden is going to be in last place, but for me, it is not. But the cutie palette nude, it looks like this. I really like this nude palette. I really like this nude palette. I really like the cutie palettes, and I like this one, but I don't, for me, I can't do that much with this and I don't like it that it's not any mattes. It is their... I can never remember this. They came out with a new formula when they released the, these the cute palettes. It's like a satin something, latex something, I don't know. But it's not like any true mattes in this and this is frankly not my color store right now. And should I maybe scooch a little bit? This is like not my typical colors for me, but it's a good palette, but I don't want to rank it any higher. Then we actually have the Poison Garden. I am one of these persons that doesn't hate this. I think this is quite good. I have problems with some of the shades, like this blue is one of the biggest disappointments ever. I don't know how you could work with this or you can put it on but as soon as you start to blend it's just getting a mess but other than that I like it I think though it's kind of much like brown shades but some of the colors in this is really good and I have done I did a collab video with this I did a face off with my friend Jenny and I like the look that came out of that and yeah, but I don't think I would repurchase this palette and all the shadows. I don't think this is Nabla's normal formula, so that is why I ranked this low, not because I hate it. <laughs> then I have a palette that I think people would rank higher, but this is just not for me. <laughs> it is the Wild Berry, one of the cutie palettes, and it looks like this. I don't know, when these came, this was the second release with the cute palettes, I think. Yeah, yeah, because first they just released two. I was like, okay, I'm going to love this Wild Berry palette. I don't. I don't know what it is, but it's not one of the cute palettes that I really, really, really want to use. Because I just don't know. I don't know. Next in place it is another cutie palette and it's the cutie palette with my 
favorite packaging and it is the Metropolitan. It looks like this and why I ranked this pretty low is because it has two mattes, one really dark and one pink. I'm not a fan of that. But I like like I like like <laughs> I really like this shade and this gold shade. But I think this is missing something and I don't like the mix when it is too much shimmers in these small beauty palettes. So yeah. I don't know, I like this Alaska, it's like a topper shade. And when you have six, do you see it? And when you have only six shades, I think it's a waste of space. With the topper, but the other colors are really good. I would like to switch this out for... I don't really know what. But not the pink at least, but... Yeah, I like it, but I, I would like to change one or two shades. In place number... Six. It is this was their first palette, so it is the dreamy palette. This palette, if you want to try Nabla's good formula, you could try the dreamy palette because this is really good. Why I rank this kind of low, it's because it's not my typical color story, and that is what like I have been going because the rest of the palettes I really like them all. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sort them like color story wise. Because I think the formula is good in all of the rest. So this is a really good palette. It's a really good neutral palette with a pop of purple. So I really like it. But purple is not my favorite. So that's why this is number six. In place number five is a palette that I didn't think. When I sat down to rank these, I was like, okay, I do not think this is going to be ranked this high. But it is. It's the Soul of Blooming. This was their second palette and when this released, that was when I started to use Nabla. I have used some face products before, but this was the first eyeshadows I tried from Nabla and I, I really love this. This is maybe not my color story either, but the thing I like about this, I've done a free looks one palette with this one. It is, you can do a really neutral look. You can do a purpley blue look. You can do a pink look. You can do a dark look. You can do a light look. And I really feel that this is, it has a lot of, maybe not layers, but you can do really, really much with this. Even though when you first look at it, it's like, okay, it's a little bit pink and purple, but it's actually a really good palette. And the formula, it's really good and this is really dirty I see now. And this made me fall in love with Nabla I think and I hold this palette really close to my heart because it was the first eyeshadows I tried from Nabla. In place number four is Dreamy 2. This is by far I think my absolute favorite package from Nabla. I, ju I just love this and I love the size of these Dreamy palettes and the soul blooming. It looks like this. I really, really like the palette. The only thing I think it's missing is more mattes. And it feels like Nabla now the latest. They have gone over to do more shimmers and satins and stuff like that. They do amazing matte shadows. So I would like if they could do more mattes in their palettes. But with this, it's working. And I just love the whole theme about this palette and this shade <clears throat> and this shade <clears throat> and the shimmers are just so good and I think I should play more with this. Do you want to see more with this? Because I really really like this palette and I love the whole theme. I love the packaging. If I would rank them by packaging I think this would be on top. In place number three is one of the cutie palettes, and this is the coral one. This is one of my absolute favorite shades from Nabla. This red shape. This has a little bit better, I think. It has three shimmers. Or four. It, this only also have two mattes. 
but in some way I like this more I think because of the red one because I really love red eyeshadow but I think this got a good a good plan about it a good plan a good color story good variation and I feel that this you can do neutral looks with and you can do like a really cool red eye if you want to so yeah this is place number three and do you know which two palettes I have left? Because the runner-up is also a cutie palette. And it is the Platinum. And this... When I bought all these cutie palettes, I was like... I'm going to hate this one. I love this one. This is my favorite cutie palette and almost my favorite palette from Nabla. I don't know what it is with this one. But it's just something inside of me that loves this. Even though grey is not my thing, like coal toned shadows is not what I prefer, I think. But I don't know what I prefer if I'm going to be honest. But it's something about this that makes me... I want to play with this, even though it is a grey palette and a platinum palette. But this has something about it. I don't know what it is. I just, I just want to do, I don't know, and it, this is so, so good. I'm shocked about this as a runner-up, but it's such a good palette. And the winner, and my favorite palette from Nabla is actually the Secret palette. I know when this came out, people were so afraid that it was going to be like the Poison Garden, and I can tell you it's not. It looks like this. I I just love this palette. I have used this outside of YouTube a couple of times. I don't think... I think I only used it on YouTube once. I did a Nabla week a long time ago when I only had seven palettes. But this one, this is like... it's a perfect mix with neutral and colorful shades and the shimmers in this palette is so so good the mattes are really amazing and I think you have both warmer and cold tones and you have a good mix of shimmers I am this person that like when it is like a matte pink and a shimmer pink because if I don't know what to do I can always just mix these two and I have a really good eye look and it is just such a good palette and this play hard is so nice to have in your inner corner if you want that and I just really really like this one even though it might look pretty neutral but I love it and I think if you should buy two palettes from Nabla I think you should buy the secret palette and also the platinum palette. Or maybe the secret palette and one of the cutie palettes. The color story you like. I think all the cutie palettes has the same good formula. So it maybe just depends on what colors you want. But I think if you want to try something from Nabla. I think the secret palette is a really good way to go. And I don't think that people have talked so much about this. I don't know why. I don't know. If it was because people were angry with Nabla of the Poison Garden. Because that was a disaster. I really recommend Nabla as a brand. Both with like highlighters and blushes. And with lipsticks. I love their liquid lipsticks. It's some of the best ones I know. And I really recommend their eyeshadows as well. And I think they should be talked about more. Because they do really nice things and they aren't like too expensive. It is an indie brand. It is from Italy for us that live in Europe. That is good. I think Nabla is sold on Ulta. I don't know because we don't have Ulta in Sweden so I don't really care. But I can really recommend Nabla as a whole brand and... I can really recommend their eyeshadows and also their single shadows because they are really good as well. I have around 20 I think, 15, 20 something like that. So yeah, this was my ranking of my Nabla palettes. I almost said videos. So I really hope you liked this and do you want to see me do something more with 
my Nobla palettes, please let me know. I would like to do more free long swan palette, but it takes such a long time. But I'm thinking because maybe next year I am going to try to not shop that much makeup. I might go on a low buy, I might go on a no buy, I haven't decided yet. It's only September, I have some more month to think about this. But I really want to use my Nobla palettes more, so please let me know if you want to see them more and I will happily do it. I might do it even if you don't want to see it, I don't know, because I really want to play with them. But yeah, I'm going to stop talk now and I really hope you liked this video. And do you have any Nobla palettes or Nobla shades? Please tell me which ones is your favorites, because I really would like to know. So yeah. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. You can miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Why do I talk so fucking fast?